Here I am in the place to be. Mr. K and B, you can't fuck with me. Extra sexy, extraordinary. Palms are hairy. Your mama pop. What up, y'all? It's K and B, the sexy ninja in the place to be for a paper saber universe. This is the Sexy Ninja Cast, the podcast about K and B, the sexy ninja, his loves, his interests. And I saw something today that was beautiful. Oh my God, breathtaking. Um, I, I uh, Takashi, uh, Yamazaki, I, 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 I'm not worthy. I, I am, I am laying down. I'm on my knees, telling you, I am not worthy. Holy shit, Godzilla minus one, a movie that was made on a fifteen million dollar budget has surpassed my expectations beyond my expectations and also to like telling like I feel like this is something Hollywood needs to watch right now because this movie is fucking beautiful this movie's fantastic this movie took my breath away in the theater I mean I got scared I got emotional. I had tears in my eyes at the end. I felt like that little kid who was watching these movies, these Godzilla movies, but then even more why we go to the movies for feelings like this, for for feeling the way I feel right now and how fantastic like that, that, oh my God. You know, oh. It was it hits all the right notes and we're in like a post war Japan. You know, you, you got um Kochi Kochi who is a who was a kamikaze uh uh bomber, but he's somebody that didn't want to do it. He was scared. Understandable, man. Like, you know, he's risking his life for his government so he can um, you know, commit suicide with these bomb runs and this that. And uh Noriko he meets, you know, he's and what I like about Kochi is the fact that he is dealing with this inside um, angst of the war and everything. And, you know, in the starting of this movie, he lands his plane and they're like, yo, you're you're a kamikaze bomb. You know, you're a kamikaze bomber, right? And he's like, yeah, well, nothing's wrong with your plane. Because the point of that is he's supposed to make the ultimate sacrifice for his country and lay down his life. And he doesn't want to. And there's this great moment. This this actor is so fantastic. There's great moments with his hand when his hand keeps shaking because, you know, he's, he's scared. And this is where we get a glimpse of Godzilla, a smaller version in the starting. And and what I like about this Godzilla is he's an asshole. <laughs> this Godzilla is just here to destroy. And what um, uh, Yamazaki did with with this film and the music and the, the 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 sound work, the special effects, oh, and you know, taking these ca- this character who's who, who lost himself in the war. Oh, you you bring in Noriko into his life, and with a baby, it's not her baby, you know, because he goes home and he finds out like you know everything, his parents, his family's gone, you know, and you meet uh, Sumiko who was his neighbor, I'm guessing. She lost everything. She lost her kids and everything like that, lost her family. And she yells at uh, uh, Kochi, and, like, you you coward. You fucking coward. You ran. You know, you you didn't do what you needed to do. If if you sacrificed your life, none of this would have happened. It would have happened, though, you know? And... With, with Godzilla and everything like that and him coming and just, just causing mayhem. It, it's it's so fucking crazy, man. This movie, oh, you know, and then we have great characters like the doc, the kid, the captain that he meets because after, you know, uh, Kochi and Noriko, they, they basically move, he move, she moves in with him, <laughs> with the kid, and he has to go get a job. So he finds this job where he has to go on a boat and get these mimes uh, mines, you know, that these bombs that are in the ocean and they collect them and they detonate them, detonate them all because the uh, Americans left them out there and stuff like that. So, and they're in this wooden boat just because the wooden boat is, uh, and that was another thing is like, 
the dialogue to the story points to the um like they're, they're, everything made fucking sense when right? you know and everything was questioned you know especially with the final plan to beat Godzilla and they're like are you sure this is going to work and usually in movies they're like yeah it's going to work yeah you know but they gave that hint of doubt like hey this is just a fucking theory that's all this is this this is a theory of you know maybe if we can get Godzilla and we can uh, set off these um, uh, bi- bubble things around him, I, I, I don't really have the, uh, the term for it, but the, you know, it, cause like the whole time I was like, this is why I go to the movies. And th- when you first like meet Godzilla, it scares you, you know, and um, he's, you know, in uh, you got another great character, uh, uh, Tachibana, who uh, is the one that checks the plane uh, for Co- uh, Kochi. And, you know, he's the one that loses all his men after Godzilla attacks. And he uh, he blames Kochi because he's like, yo, these guys died because of you. You didn't pull the trigger when I told you to pull the fucking trigger, you know. You got scared. And that, that sets their, you know, relationship up in the starting of the movie. And um, uh, Tachibana, he gives the pictures of his crew to him, to, to, to Kochi, to be like a reminder, like, yeah, because of your cowardness, you're taking these with you. You're going to remember that these people had families too, and you couldn't pull the trigger. You couldn't be a, a kamikaze bomber. You know, you, you're, you're, you, this is your shame. And that's fucking crazy. And then, then uh, Kochi has to live with this, like throughout the movie. And then when he, when he tells everyone, he's like, yeah, I was a kamikaze you know, and people look at him like, oh, well, the point of you is you're supposed to be dead now because you're supposed to have gave yourself up. But no, he, he he starts gaining this family and stuff like that. But he's still holding on to the war. He's still holding on to all these emotions and, you know, his hatred for Godzilla. And, man, there's this great scene where, where uh, Coach tries to go save uh, Noriko uh, uh, over in... Um, like she's in this, I, I can't, I, I'm trying to think of the city's name. Well, part of the city's on in Japan because uh, the Godzilla wants to go to Tokyo. But he <laughs> he goes there to save her because this is where Godzilla starts attacking. And like this great moment of Godzilla powering up, his spikes t- turning that blue. And, you know, and I, I was like, because she grabs him and uh well uh he comes and saves her they're running down godzilla's about to blast and before he um sets off his blast she pushes him in the alleyway and you see her ass go whoosh and you're like she's dead she made a sacrifice and saved him and you know they have this kid that they're taking care of that you know he still doesn't want to be known as the father because you know he he's he has all this turmoil and trouble inside of him so you know, he's dealing with all this stuff, man. And I, the soundtrack is fantastic. There's a moment in the end when um, they, they do the plan and they sink Godzilla to the bottom of the ocean and then Godzilla comes back up and all that pressure and he's freezing, you know, and uh, like here comes uh, Kochi with the plane. He's going to fly into Godzilla's mouth and everything like that. And it, 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 it was a moment where the music was take everything was taken back. Then it was just pure silence. And it was like, oh, you know, and I saw this movie with Doug. And I'm going to tell you this. Doug loved this movie. He was like, I I forgot there's such things as good movies. I was like, I forgot you can feel like this when you watch a movie. I forgot that feeling of being totally like in awe, just in straight awe of just, oh, my God, what? And... I uh, like I said, uh, Takashi uh, Yamazaki. I I'm not worthy. You 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 have taken one of my favorite characters, Godzilla, and Godzilla minus one. And like this is one of the best, not even the best kaiju movie. This is one of the best movies of the year, in my fucking opinion. Movie, best movie of the year. Like I've seen a lot of great stuff, Oppenheimer, Barbie, and whatnot. But this. This movie to make me feel the way I did, and this movie to take my breath away, literally take the fucking oxygen out of my chest at times. And I'm like, and the emotions of, 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 of how I felt, it, 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 it's everything that it, this, you got to go see it. 
you got to see this fucking movie. I'm, I'm tearing up right now thinking of some certain things. I know I said some spoilers. Um, I'm sorry, but the, the, this movie is fucking amazing. I cannot stress that enough. Like, I, I, I text my brother. I text some people on Snapchat. I was like, yo, yo, I walked out of this. Like, what? I, I sat there as the credits were on. I was like, oh. you know, I was just, just in awe. And um, uh, not, not, now I'm going to go look through for his other movies that he's directed and stuff like that. There's a couple of animations I saw that are on Netflix and um, a couple that I saw on Voodoo that I'm going to buy. He has a movie called Parasite and stuff like that. I want to learn more about this this, this director because he took, you know, uh, and the, the other great part, too, is uh, Tachibana, who's the one that hates Kochi for what he's done. And But then he kind of redeems himself in the end with it when he's like, you should live, man. You got to live. You know, don't abandon that little baby girl. Don't, you know, don't make her an orphan, you know, because that's what happened to you and, uh, and Nor- Noriko. That's what happened to you both, and you don't do this, and he chose to live. And, oh, my God, you know, to the ca- every Oh, this movie's fantastic. I, that's all I got to say, man. Godzilla Minus One, man, it's, it's a great movie with a hard M. It's movie of the year. It's it's everything, and, and you know it. It is. Oh, I, I can't stress enough how much I love this movie so fucking much, man. So go check it out. Godzilla minus one in theaters now until like Thursday here in Flagstaff. But I can't wait for this to be on physical media, also just digital media, so I can watch it over and over again. And I remember walking out of the theater and telling um, Doug, I was like, now I. <laughs> I have high expectations for Godzilla X Kong, the new empire. After seeing this movie, I have really high expectations now. <laughs> so, like, and I don't think they'll meet him. I don't think they'll meet him, man. This this was a breath of fresh air for for cinema, for, you know, just the, the kaiju films itself and taking it back to that old, you know, just just why we go to the movies. We go to the movies because life sometimes sucks. Life is a bitch sometimes, and I just want to escape reality. And this is that movie that made me feel, this is why I go. This right here is why I go to the movies. So go check it out, Godzilla Minus One. Like and subscribe. Share with your grandma, share with your grandma. Share with the bum down at Walmart. I am KMB the Sexy Ninja. And remember, stay sexy, ninjas. Whoop, whoop! Welcome to the wicked shit. Oh, yeah.